Welcome, film aficionados, to a journey back in time. Today, we're diving deep into the cinematic wonders of 1993, a year that brought us a plethora of unforgettable movies. Get ready as we count down the top 20 films that graced the silver screen and captured our hearts. What do they got in there, King Kong? Welcome to Jurassic Park. Hold on to your seats as we journey to Isla Nublar in Steven Spielberg's groundbreaking masterpiece, Jurassic Park. This epic adventure not only redefined special effects but also ignited our imaginations with its eye-inspiring dinosaurs and pulse-pounding action. The film follows a group of scientists and tourists who visit a theme park populated by genetically engineered dinosaurs. When the park's security systems fail, chaos ensues as the dinosaurs break free, leading to a fight for survival. Move. Must go faster. Din, we're talking to Sleepless in Seattle. You call the radio station? Christmas Eve. He phones in one of those radio call-in shows and tells them that his dad needs a new wife. And the shrinkette practically forces a guy onto the phone and says, Tell me, what was so special about your wife? Well, Dr. Marshall Fields Town, I think. It was like. Magic. Sleepless in Seattle? That's what she called him on the show because he can't sleep. Tom Hanks and Meg Ryan steal our hearts in Sleepless in Seattle, a charming romantic comedy that proves love knows no boundaries. With its witty banter and timeless romance, this film is a delightful ode to true love. The film follows widower Sam Baldwin, who, after a radio broadcast discussing his late wife, captures the heart of Annie Reed, a journalist living across the country. As Annie becomes enamored with Sam's story, she embarks on a journey to find him, leading to a series of romantic misadventures. What is tiramisu? You'll see. Some woman is going to want me to do it to her, and I'm not going to know what it is. You'll love it. This is the one I like. There is no way that we are going on a plane to meet someone who could be a crazy, sick lunatic. Didn't you see Fatal Attraction? Next on our list is another film directed by Steven Spielberg. Schindler's List is a historical drama based on the true story of Oskar Schindler, a German businessman who saved the lives of over a thousand Polish Jewish refugees during the Holocaust. The film follows Schindler as he employs Jewish workers in his factories, risking his own life to protect them from persecution by the Nazis. Schindler's List is revered for its powerful performances, emotional resonance, and unflinching depiction of one of history's darkest chapters. They say your factory is a haven. They say you are good. Who says that? Everyone. Can I help you? Yes, I'd like a ham and cheese omelet or wham fries. I'm sorry. We stop serving breakfast at 11.30. Falling Down is a provocative thriller directed by Joel Schumacher and starring Michael Douglas in a tour de force performance. The film follows William Foster, a recently laid-off defense worker who, after enduring a series of frustrations and disappointments, snaps and embarks on a violent rampage across Los Angeles. As Foster descends into chaos, he confronts societal issues such as urban decay, economic inequality, and the breakdown of civility. Falling Down offers a chilling exploration of the dark underbelly of contemporary society and the consequences of unchecked anger and disillusionment. With its gripping storyline, sharp social commentary, and Douglas' compelling portrayal of a man pushed to the edge, Falling Down remains a thought-provoking and unsettling cinematic experience. The bag full of guns is in Hollywood right now and he's heading west. I don't know if you've noticed or not, but there's other people waiting to use the phone here. Now, if you go up against this guy, be careful. I think it's out of order. Directed by Jim Sheridan, In the Name of the Father is a biographical drama based on the true story of the Guildford Four, a group of individuals wrongfully convicted of bombings carried out by the IRA in England. The film follows Jerry Conlon, played by Daniel Day-Lewis, and his father Giuseppe, played by Pete Postlethwaite, as they fight to clear their names and seek justice. In the Name of the Father is praised for its powerful performances, gripping storytelling, and exploration of themes such as injustice, family, and resilience. What are you trying to do to me? Stop what are you doing in here? 
Conspiracy to murder. All of the defendants claim that they were subjected to physical and mental abuse while under police custody. They were never harmed in any way. <laughs> Directed by Peter Weir, Fearless is a drama starring Jeff Bridges as Max Klein, a man who survives a plane crash but emerges from the experience feeling invincible and unafraid of death. As Max grapples with survivor's guilt and existential questions, he forms a connection with a fellow survivor, played by Rosie Perez, who is deeply traumatized by the crash. Fearless explores themes of trauma, redemption, and the human capacity for resilience in the face of tragedy. It's the Vietnam vets. <sighs> you want to kill me, but you can't! He and your wife are the only survivors I can't reach. She won't talk and he won't admit the crash was bad. He says it was good? says it was the best thing that ever happened to him. I can't explain it, but you're safe with me. So what are you telling me? There, there's no God, but there's you? Directed by Lass Halstrom, What's Eating Gilbert Grape is a drama film based on the novel of the same name by Peter Hedges. The story follows Gilbert Grape, played by Johnny Depp, a young man from a small town in Iowa who is responsible for caring for his mentally challenged younger brother, Arnie, played by Leonardo DiCaprio. As Gilbert navigates the challenges of his dysfunctional family and small-town life, he grapples with his own desires and responsibilities. The film is praised for its sensitive portrayal of complex characters and themes of love, family, and acceptance. I haven't always been like this. I haven't always been like this. Gilbert. Heaven and Earth is a biographical war drama directed by Oliver Stone, completing his Vietnam War trilogy. The film chronicles the real-life story of Lalai Hayslip, a Vietnamese woman who survives the horrors of the Vietnam War, including the fall of Saigon and the brutalities inflicted upon her family. As Lalai immigrates to the United States, she struggles to adapt to her new life while grappling with the traumas of her past. The movie offers a poignant exploration of cultural identity, resilience, and the lasting effects of war on individuals and families. With powerful performances from its cast, stunning cinematography, and a compelling narrative, Heaven and Earth is a captivating and emotionally resonant film. I met a man whose kindness made me forget the past. This is mom's eighth dog. She has the eight ugliest dogs in the United States. <laughs> <laughs> he wanted me to be his wife to take me to his home in America. But in America, I was forced to fight once again. You told me two years we are going at one. No, 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 no. To make a home for my children and help my husband find his peace. Yeah. <laughs> Groundhog Day is a fantasy comedy starring Bill Murray as Phil Connors, a cynical weatherman who finds himself trapped in a time loop, reliving the same day over and over again. As Phil grapples with his predicament, he embarks on a journey of self-discovery, learning valuable lessons about life, love, and redemption. Groundhog Day is praised for its inventive premise, sharp humor, and Murray's standout performance. This film is a true gem of 90s cinema. Chance of departure today 100%. He's stuck in Groundhog Day. <laughs> in Groundhog Day, I'm reliving the same day over and over. Bill, Ned Ryerson, Bang! Do you ever have deja vu, Mrs. Lancaster? I don't think so, but I could check with the kitchen. Well, it's Groundhog Day again. I am an immortal. I have been stabbed, shot, burned, frozen, electrocuted. I'm a god. You're a god. I'm a god. I'm not the god. My marriage is not ending. It's just on hiatus. Mrs. Doubtfire is a heartwarming comedy starring Robin Williams as Daniel Hillard, a struggling actor who disguises himself as a British nanny in order to spend time with his children after a bitter divorce. As Mrs. Doubtfire, Daniel learns valuable lessons about family, love, and the importance of being true to oneself. The film is beloved for its humor, warmth, and Williams' memorable performance. I'm placing an ad for a housekeeper. Housekeeper? Hello? Euphigenia Doubtfire. Mr. Beckett! <laughs> How are you? What happened to your face? I have AIDS. Oh. 
Tom Hanks delivers a powerhouse performance in Philadelphia as Andrew Beckett, a successful lawyer who was fired from his firm after contracting HIV. With the help of attorney Joe Miller, played by Denzel Washington, Andrew takes his former employers to court, challenging discrimination and fighting for justice. With its poignant storytelling and powerful message, this film leaves a lasting impact. Am I being fired? Would you accept a client if you were constantly thinking, I don't want this person to touch me. I have a case. I don't want them to even breathe on me. If you don't want it for personal reasons. Thank you, that's correct, I don't. That's very disappointing. Give me an excellent lawyer. Andrew Beckett is dying. You were impressed with Andrew Beckett's work. Andrew Beckett is angry. What powerful force has caused him to change his mind? And he wants someone to pay. Get ready for a heartwarming underdog story in Cool Runnings, a sports comedy inspired by the true story of the Jamaican bobsled team's debut at the 1988 Winter Olympics. The film follows a group of Jamaican athletes who, with the help of a disgraced former bobsledder, set out to compete in the Winter Olympics despite having no experience in the sport. Cool Runnings is celebrated for its heartwarming story, inspirational message, and humorous moments. And there is a lot more coming up. Is this whole thing a big joke? I can't get my helmet on. Oh, thanks, coach. Why don't you put some training wheels on that sled? Oh, 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 my God! Leave the pop setting to the real man. You know you're gonna have to do this on your own one day. Oh! You have no business here, Jamaica. People are always afraid of what's different. Now, 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 now! Go! Do you really expect these Jamaicans to qualify? Not only are they gonna qualify, they're gonna turn some heads doing it. The Firm is a legal thriller. The film stars Tom Cruise as Mitch McDeer, a young and ambitious lawyer who joins a prestigious law firm. However, Mitch soon discovers that the firm is involved in illegal activities, putting his life and the lives of his loved ones at risk. As he navigates the dangerous world of corporate corruption, this film is a must-watch for fans of courtroom dramas. Next on our list is The Fugitive, a gripping thriller based on the 1960s television series of the same name. The film follows Dr. Richard Kimball, played by Harrison Ford, who is wrongfully convicted of murdering his wife. After escaping from custody, Kimball sets out to prove his innocence while evading capture by a relentless U.S. Marshal, played by Tommy Lee Jones. The Fugitive is praised for its taut suspense, intense action sequences, and standout performances. Turn around! Pay attention! Get out on your knees! Right now! I want you to talk to me about me. Are you very much in love with her? As much as a man can be. Do you think there's a limit? Directed by Martin Scorsese, The Age of Innocence is a period drama based on the novel by Edith Wharton. Set in 19th century New York, the film follows Newland Archer, played by Daniel Day-Lewis, a wealthy lawyer engaged to marry the beautiful but conventional Mae Welland, played by Winona Ryder. However, when Archer meets May's cousin, the free-spirited Countess Ellen Olenska, played by Michelle Pfeiffer, he finds himself torn between duty and desire. The Age of Innocence is praised for its sumptuous production design, exquisite costumes, and nuanced performances. I came to see what you were running away from. All I really want is to feel cared for and safe. You gave me my first glimpse of a real life. And then you asked me to carry on with a false one. No one can endure that. Prepare to be enchanted by The Piano, a visually stunning and emotionally gripping drama directed by Jane Campion. Set in 19th century New Zealand, this film follows Ada McGrath, a mute woman played by Holly Hunter, who communicates through her piano. When Ada is forced into an arranged marriage with a wealthy landowner, played by Sam Neill, she forms a forbidden relationship with a rough-hewn laborer, played by Harvey Keitel. The piano is lauded for its atmospheric cinematography, haunting score, and powerful performances. I'd like us to make a deal, things I'd like to do while you play. Let's just get. Next is The Pelican Brief. 
The film follows law student Darby Shaw, played by Julia Roberts, who uncovers a conspiracy linking the assassination of two Supreme Court justices to powerful figures in government and business. She teams up with investigative journalist Gray Grantham, played by Denzel Washington, to expose the truth. The Remains of the Day is a British-American drama directed by James Ivory, based on the novel by Kazuo Ishiguro. Set in post-World War II England, the film follows Stevens, a loyal butler played by Anthony Hopkins, who served at Darlington Hall, the estate of Lord Darlington. As Stevens embarks on a journey to visit a former colleague, he reflects on his life of service and the choices he made in service to his employer. Through flashback sequences, the film explores Stevens' relationship with Miss Kenton, the housekeeper played by Emma Thompson, and examines themes of duty, loyalty, and the price of sacrificing personal happiness for professional obligation. With its exquisite performances, elegant direction, and poignant storytelling, The Remains of the Day is a timeless cinematic masterpiece that invites viewers to ponder the complexities of human relationships and the passage of time. The first-rate housekeeper is essential in a house like this where great affairs are decided. You don't like to have pretty girls on the staff, I've noticed. Why it be that our Mr. Stevens fears distraction? You know what I'm doing, Miss Kenton. I'm placing my thoughts elsewhere while you chat away. Directed by Stephen Zaillian, Searching for Bobby Fischer is a drama film based on the true story of chess prodigy Joshua Waitskin. The film follows Joshua, played by Max Pomerank, as he displays exceptional talent for chess and attracts the attention of competitive coaches and players. However, Joshua's father, played by Joe Mantegna, grapples with the ethical implications of pushing his son too hard in pursuit of success. Searching for Bobby Fischer is praised for its insightful exploration of ambition, competition, and the pressures of childhood prodigy. John, your son creates like Fischer. He sees like him. Inside. If you're playing not to lose, Josh, you've got to risk losing. You've got to risk everything. I was wondering if you could keep him from playing there so much. No. I mean, you'd kill him not to play in the park. He loves it. Just makes my job harder. Then your job's harder. Ooh, good! Yeah, that's it. My son has a gift. He is better at this than I have ever been at anything. Jesus. No, my Jesus. He said it's time to let my little light show. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa! Young lady, what is wrong with you? Cut out all that wild gyration and blues shouting. What's Love Got to Do With It is a biographical drama directed by Brian Gibson based on the life of singer Tina Turner. The film stars Angela Bassett as Tina Turner and Lawrence Fishburne as Ike Turner. It follows Tina's rise to fame alongside her tumultuous relationship with Ike, who was also her husband and musical partner. The movie explores Tina's journey from abuse and hardship to empowerment and success as a solo artist. Angela Bassett's performance as Tina Turner received widespread acclaim, earning her an Academy Award nomination for Best Actress. Think it's gonna work out fine. It's gonna work out Priceless girl, priceless! And there you have it, the top 20 films of 1993. Stay tuned as we continue our countdown with the next batch of cinematic gems in our next video. Did your favorite make the list? Let us know in the comments below, and don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more epic countdowns. Thanks for joining me on this journey through 93, and until next time, happy watching!